Hi there, I'm Jack Canfield, and today I want to talk to you about the importance of reading every day as part of your daily disciplines for success. And I'm going to share with you 11 books that I'll be reading this year. If you want to be successful, reading is a very important discipline. You know, I read for a minimum of one hour a day, and I have been doing this for over 53 years. And as a result, I've read more than 3,000 books in the fields of self-development, psychology, motivation, creativity, financial literacy, economics, relationships, communication skills, parenting skills, spiritual growth, health and fitness, leadership, marketing, social media, sales skills, social change, and environmental sustainability. And as you probably know, I divide my life into eight specific areas, which include job and career, financial, relationships, health and fitness, fun and recreation, personal, which includes education, spiritual development, and any possessions you want to own, and any experiences you want to have, and the final area, which is contribution, making a difference through philanthropy, leaving a legacy. As you'll see from the 11 books I'll share with you today that I'll be reading this year, they cover most of those areas. Now, the first book I plan to read is Love for No Reason by Marcy Shymoff. I'm actually rereading this book as part of my research for a book I'm writing about love and fear. I believe there are really only two major feelings that motivate all of our behaviors. We are either motivated by desire to express or receive love, or we're motivated by fear. Now the next book I'll be reading is a book called Principles by Ray Dalio. And Ray is a top hedge fund manager that Tony Robbins interviewed for his book on money. And the chapter on Ray's investment strategy was probably the most powerful in Tony's whole book. And I've already already skimmed the book and find that like myself, Ray believes in organizing his life around principles and then religiously implementing strategies that actualize those principles in both his personal and his business life. Now, another book I'll be reading is The Genie in Your Genes by Dawson Church. That's G-E-N-E-S, genes. And this book is an amazing scientific treatise on why your genetic code doesn't determine your life. The book, which is backed by 300 scientific studies, shows how to take control of your health and well-being with thoughts and feelings that raise the level of vitality and happiness in your life. It also contains a lot of research on the science behind EFT tapping, which I use a lot, and energy healing. Speaking of tapping, another book I'll be reading this year is Nick Ortner's latest book called The Tapping Solutions for Manifesting Your Greatest Self. Nick, who is a friend, is one of the premier tapping experts who I first met when he interviewed me for the DVD he produced called The Tapping Solution, which he later turned into a book as well. He's also published a book called The Tapping Solution for Pain Relief. Now this latest book, The Tapping Solution for Manifesting Your Greatest Self, 21 Days to Releasing Self-Doubt, Cultivating Inner Peace, and Creating the Life You Love, it contains some powerful tapping techniques for removing one's inner blocks, identifying one's highest possible vision, and how to anchor it in our bodies as well as our behavior. Now the next book I'll be looking at is Be Obsessed or Be Average by Grant Cardone. I was fortunate enough to hear Grant speak at a conference last year and he was truly one of the best speakers I've ever heard. He is totally committed to living an extraordinary life both in terms of success and in terms of making a difference. So I bought his book as soon as I got home and I'm very excited to now read it this year. Another book I'll be reading is What's in the Way is the Way by Mary O'Malley. I was intrigued by what the book was promising to cover. Three of those things are first, how fear controls our lives, untangling the conditioning that keeps us from trusting our complete experience. And second, the healing power of curiosity, a natural way to meet our lives without needing to change or judge anything. And third, trusting what happens even when we feel threatened, ashamed, or afraid. But I just love the idea that what's in the way is the way. I love it. Now the next book I'm going to be looking at and reading is The Entrepreneur Roller Coaster by Darren Hardy, who's also the author of The Compound Effect, which is another book I highly recommend. Now I'm reading this one because so many of the people that come to my trainings and our mastermind retreats are entrepreneurs, and many of them are startup entrepreneurs. And here's the promo on the book that made me want to read it. it. said, this book will prepare you for the wild ride of entrepreneurship. It will warn you of forthcoming fears, 
doubts, and self-defeating conditioning of your upbringing and past inoculate you from naysayers, dream stealers, and pains of rejection and failure and guide you as you build those underdeveloped skills of independence, self-motivation, and self-accountability safely past the landmines that blow up and cause the failure of 66% of all new businesses. So that's a good promise. Now, the next book is in the area of health. And it's called Stephen Gundry's, so Dr. Stephen Gundry's latest book is called The Plant Paradox, The Hidden Dangers in Healthy Foods That Cause Disease and Weight Gain. Dr. Gundry is one of my go-to people when it comes to health. Now let me read you the copy that made me pick up this book and made me want to read it. So hang on for one second while I put my glasses on. It writes, so in The Plant Paradox, renowned cardiologist and heart surgeon, Dr. Stephen Gundry reveals that gluten is just one variety of a common and highly toxic plant-based protein called lectin. Lectins are found not only in grains like wheat, but also in the gluten-free foods most of us commonly regard as healthy, including many fruits, vegetables, nuts, beans, and conventional dairy products. These proteins, which are found in the seeds, grains, skins, rinds, and leaves of plants, are designed by nature to protect plants from predators, including humans. Once ingested, they incite a kind of chemical warfare in our bodies, causing inflammatory reactions that can lead to weight gain and serious health conditions. What that's basically saying is a lot of the foods we're eating actually have defense mechanisms in them to make us not feel good so we won't eat them. So it's important to know what those are so I don't keep doing that and I don't want you to do it either. All right, so the next book I want to read, oh, by the way, you can subscribe to Dr. Gundry's newsletter at Gundry, G-U-N-D-R-Y, M-D.com. And another book in the area of health, fitness, and peak performance is by Dave Asprey. Now, Dave is a professional biohacker which is someone who uses nutrition to hack or take control of human biology. The book is called Headstrong, the bulletproof plan to activate untapped brain energy to work smarter and think faster in just two weeks. Now that's Dave's third book and it focuses on applying the latest breakthroughs in neuroscience, brain science, and nutrition to protect, restore, and enhance brain function. Now the final book on my list here that I'm gonna be reading is one I'm already halfway through right now. It's entitled Beyond the Messy Truth, how we came apart and how we come together by Van Jones. Now Van's a CNN political contributor and has been named by Fast Company as one of the 12 most creative minds on earth and Times named him 100 most influential people in the world. Now the best way for me to give you a sense of what this book is about and why I think it's so important is for me to read you also from the inside of this book's jacket. Let me find my glasses here again. It writes, the entire national conversation today can be reduced to a simple statement. I'm right and you're wrong. Jones has said, but the truth is messier. Both sides have flaws. Both parties have strayed from their highest principles and let down their core constituencies. Rejecting today's political tribalism, Jones issues a stirring call for a new bipartisanship from below. Recognizing that tough challenges require the best wisdom from both liberals and conservatives, he points us toward practical answers to problems that affect us all regardless of religion or ideology. Rural and inner city poverty, unemployment, addiction, unfair incarceration, and the devastating effects of the pollution-based economy on both coal country and our urban centers. I think this is so important, and I will really memorize what's in here, because we are living at a time when we're so divided in our country here in America that we need to come together and really learn how to work together to solve these problems in a, in a um, bipartisan way. Now finally, when I was in my early 20s, my mentor, who was W. Clement Stone, who was worth $600 million in 1969, told me to read biographies and autobiographies of famous and successful people, like Abraham Lincoln, Alexander Hamilton, Thomas Jefferson, Henry Ford, Thomas Edison, Winston Churchill, Mother Teresa, and more recently, people like Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Martin Luther King, Warren Buffett, Elon Musk, Michelle Obama, and actress Maggie Smith. Now, the next one I'm going to read, for me, the next biography is called Leonardo da Vinci. It's by Walter Isaacson. He's a great biographer who also wrote biographies on Steve Jobs, Benjamin Franklin, and Einstein. I'm really looking forward to reading about Leonardo da Vinci because Leonardo is one of the most interesting, creative, and productive people that's ever lived. And I'm interested in learning more about why. So here's your homework to complete after watching this video. First, I want you to make a commitment to read a book for at least 30 minutes a day. An hour a day is even better. And then make a list of 10 books that you commit to reading this year. Some from the ones I've mentioned today and any other books that will help you achieve the life that you want in any of the areas that are most important to you. 
And then go ahead and write the title of your first book in the comments section below. And check on some of the books other people list as well. There may be some good ideas for you there. So you may find some other books that you'll want to read from my list, from the things that are below, and just go to your local library, go to your local bookstore. Whatever attracts you, give yourself a chance to read it as long as it's helping you move in the direction that you want to go to create your life as the best life ever. So thank you for watching and remember, nothing will change for the better until you do. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure you like it, share it with a friend who may need it, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And for some additional great books to read that will support you in successfully creating the life you want, make sure to visit my website at jackcanfield.com. And thanks again for watching.